Good morning. Welcome. Shavuot Tov. Bogotavach. Thanks for tuning in to Kehillah Chari Torah's daily Sfirat Omer, counting the Omer with uh, opportunities for spiritual growth. For Sunday, May 8th, we're going to go back to Friday night. Friday evening, we counted 21 days of the Omer. Uh, we said then, Hayom Echad Ve'asrim Yom, Shehem Shlosha Shavuot La Omer. That was three full weeks of counting the Omer. And the uh, Sfirah for the day for uh, Friday night for Shabbos was Malchus Shabbat Teferis nobility and compassion. We've learned that Tiferes is compassion born of the truth that results from merging chesed, kindness, with gevura, discipline. Tiferes enables us to have a truthful, holistic perspective and to see others as bigger than the current moment in time. Today, we complete our journey through this meetup by merging it with malchus, with royalty. The ultimate goal is that our compassion empowers us to achieve is the crystallization of our truest selves. In other words, I, it enables us to discover our royalty within. Uh, the uh, let's see. The uh, she uh, gives a little story as she frequently does, uh, and uh, her call, the issues of, she issues a call to action for the close of week three. A significant person in your life, she says, might have a part of her that makes you turn away. Why is that part a turn off to you? Try to analyze the fear you might have of what could happen if you turn towards that part instead of away from it. That part might be their whining, for example, and turning toward it might mean tuning out the whine, tuning into the whining instead of tuning out. You can even try doing it and check what made you so uncomfortable. Uh, then take a step back and reframe the discomfort as an emotional or spiritual Charlie horse, quote unquote. Hopefully looking at things that way will change your attitude so you can get even get excited about learning to flex that muscle in your workout as well. Interesting. Okay, now on to uh, today's counting. So last night, Saturday night. We counted 22 days of the Omer. 22, uh, we begin the week of Netzach, endurance. So uh, last night was Chesed Sheba Netzach, loving kindness in endurance. The Midah that we start today plays such a big part in advancing all the rest of them. It's the Midah of Netzach, endurance, the trait of sticking it out. Uh, all of us have so many goals, both for ourselves and for others. The fact that we don't make much progress is not because we aren't goal-oriented. It's just that we sometimes get stuck in the process of heading towards that goal. Think of all the projects we start, all the diets, all the relationship tools that we want to try. Remember those date nights you were so excited about? Once things started getting tedious and difficult, we tend to give up. When it comes to helping ourselves or others progress towards a goal, it's netzach, endurance, that helps it keep going. Uh, she writes, you know, she's a, I believe she's a, a couples counselor, a marriage therapist. She writes a story. I was once working with a couple who were both absolutely sure that they had very little in common. In reality, they had one very big thing in common. They were both desperate for the other one to change. No surprise to most of us. Both of them were frustrated that nothing had worked. And they thought they were probably hopeless. They claimed that neither of them was able or interested in changing. But when we started talking, we uncovered that both of them had successfully implemented other changes in their lives. We started analyzing how those changes happened, and we came to a realization. As much as they had thought that being tough on themselves or their spouse would help make change happen, previous changes proved something else. The changes that had stuck either had been inspired by others in a kind, loving way, or they were changes that each of them had really wanted and felt good about implementing for themselves. Unless the change, now she's explaining that, uh, that uh, uh, experience, unless the change I've made is something that I really value and want and love, chances are I won't persist in making it happen. Endurance is contingent upon chesed, on loving kindness. So she says, today's midah is the uh, combination of these two, chesed in netzach. There's a, a good bit here more. Uh, she quotes uh, the Slanim Rebbe, Rabbi Shalom Noach Berezovsky, that we've learned a little bit of his uh, teachings in Shul. And she issues her call to action for the day. Think of something that your inner critic has harshly been pushing you about concerning a change you should make. If a friend sounded like that to you, would you keep her as a friend? Your critic thinks he's getting somewhere important and can only do it by bullying you. Think, uh, sorry, tell him he's not helping. Ask the critic to, critic to speak to you more sweetly and lovingly with trust and belief. Let yourself feel the difference. Will it make you more or less likely to listen? Replay the kinder voice every morning for a week and see if it enhances your endurance. Good challenge for the day. Have a good day, a good week. Join us again tomorrow.